Welcome back to another player profile and projection as trial and error by James Newton Howard off of the album Retro Rock Dance Hits plays in the background. I never knew the official name to this song. I just knew it was from Major League the movie. Major League song. It's the official Ma- name. Major League song. Yeah, his official yeah. name is Trial and Error. That's what I have to Google when I. Well, it's a random song we brought up. We don't. Uh, it's definitely not from Major League. Yeah. So, I gotta say we've recorded. I don't know. We're about to record sixty of these mini episodes, and everyone starts and ends with that song, and we listen right. to it live, then we listen to it on all the preview ups. I still love that song. Yeah, it's a strong song. It's really, really good. The intro, once it starts getting into the the hooting and hollering. Oh, yeah, you can't, you got to cut it out. Instant cut. There's a lot of dogs barking and stuff. Woof, woof. That's what they sound like. That was a good bark by you. Thank you. Impressed. My dad is a really good fake barker. Good to see that. He, like, can fake kids out. It's kind of was like his life for 10 years. Yeah, just fake barking. He would call my dad. <laughs> Can I share a weird story first? Have we said the player yet? They know because it's in the title of the show. Right. Yeah, it's Gio Urshela. Okay. Gio would like this story. I don't know if he would. There's a dog in my cul-de-sac in New okay. Jersey. And uh, I didn't like it. Was a, I already didn't like that it was a first sentence with a pause. I thought we were going to be able to get this in like a... Sammy was the dog's name. I paused because I was trying to remember the dog's okay. name. That family would go away for the weekend or the week, so the dog would be home alone. Right. My dad would call... And just leave a voicemail that played out loud right. for the house, you know? Sammy! <laughs> roof! Roof! How you doing, Sam? <laughs> and then the, torture. the family would get home and listen to the mm-hmm. voicemail. No. <laughs> My dad barking and talking to their dog. Christopher. Uh... <laughs> anyway, Gio Urshela. There we go. Giovanni. Giovanni is such a different name than Gio. The vibes it gives off. A little bit. Like, I know that it's a, it's a, obviously the nickname. Yeah. But, like, Giovanni, I think of almost like a bad guy. And Gio, very friendly. Uh, Not a bad guy, but an intimidating figure. See, I kind of disagree there. I'm more Gio and Giovanni. I just picture the angry parent. Like, you're okay. Gio to everyone, but when you hear Giovanni, like, it's time for dinner. Giovanni reminds me of trouble. a guy from The Godfather. And that's the Sopranos, yeah. Fair. Yeah. No middle name. What's that about, Gio? Don't need one. Giovanni Urshela, I mean. That's strong. Giovanni Urshela did not get his own PPP last season. Has his own this year. And for that, I'm going to clap a little. Just a great season. I mean, a great season. An amazing season. A great season. Circumstances, I'm going to bump it up to amazing. Okay. It's a great season. He ends... With a 314 batting average, yeah, a 355 on base percentage, uh-huh. an 889 OPS, and a 133 OPS plus. 21 home runs. Do you want to hear his previous high? Six. It was six. His rookie year. His rookie year. In 2018 and 2017, he had one each. He only played 19 games in 2018. I mean... The Gio Urshela story was insane last year. It was insane. Um, he he almost gets overlooked. I feel like whenever we talk about Cashman fines, we go uh, Voight, Talkman, Urshela kind of doesn't get mentioned because that one feels just like witchcraft and wizardry. Well, because those those dudes were stashed in AAA. Right. Giovanni, Giovanni Urshela. Everyone already gave up on. He was given a shot. Yes. Multiple shots because his glove got him to the big leagues. Right. He could hit. Did he ever hit in the minor leagues? Because you, you hear Voight and Talkman, and I've repeated this a lot. They say, like, right. well, I've always hit, so I'm not surprised. Right. When they got to the big league level, they were like, yeah, I got an opportunity, and I just kept doing what I was doing. So I'm wondering if... Um, at the AAA level, I mean, his career numbers, a 728 OPS, I think in um, limited action in, in AAA in 2018, he was solid. It's not until he joined the Yankees organization. Yeah, uh, and I mean, That's again, the, it's it's something with the Yankees. Well, A, I think they stumbled into shit a little bit. They did not think Gio Urshela was going to hit 314 with an 889 OPS and 21 home runs. They just thought maybe there's something untapped here. Yeah, I mean, he's he's got the glove, and I, I think the deep, dark secret that nobody's talking about is it's guys who let the ball travel. 
And Gio Urshela clearly lets the ball travel. He, uh, You saw it in his approach last year. He wasn't scared to go the other way. Uh, Voight, Talkman, DJ LeMahieu all have that very same attribute. Um, and uh, but but either way, what what he did last year um, is still unreal. It's incredible. Kudos to Gio. And yeah, I mean, you could point to so many different things. I mean, when he was in Toronto's organization, he even played a little shortstop last year, and that shows um, what kind of special glove he does have and the opportunities he was going to get. But um, and you know, the biggest thing for Marcus Timms. James, swing harder. Swing harder. I, can I say something? I'd love you to. Be weird if you didn't. It's suspect. Ooh. I think if you're a Yankees fan, you have to allow other fan bases to say, that's suspect. It's a little suspect. Same way that, you know, the pine tar stuff and when pitchers went to Houston sure. and their spin rate increased. Yeah, this Yankee stuff, and we 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 just defer and say Cashman's a goat, and the analyst right. department's awesome, and Marcus Tim says swing harder. Yeah. Why wouldn't you give it your all every swing? And that's what Cameron Maven said, and Gio Urshela says, and even Didi says that. Like the Reds and 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 the Diamondbacks told him to go the other way with the ball yeah. and slap it around, and the Yankees just say, "Nah, just swing really hard every time." Yeah, I'm bought in. Right, but if you're another fan base, you can be like that suspect. Yeah, I think it's it's more of a throwaway line to give the people, like, you know, the A-swing stuff and swing harder, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot that goes into it. I think it is ball traveling and, and willing to go the other way with it, especially if you're a right-handed hitter. Um, and Talkman too. I mean, Talkman's lefty on lefty numbers are crazy. So, um, But we'll save that for another time. For now, we'll talk about Gio de God, Urshela. And I think one of the funnier things that also comes up when when we start talking about Geo is we did this yesterday, so we know off the top of our heads. And because we're so in this, guys, we're here for you. Yeah. But Geo was part of the like. Can you look at these guys that are now playing for the Yankees that weren't here opening day? Geo Rochella was here first week of April, <laughs> but it was just such a mental a when he came up. We all shrugged and we're like. Okay, he'll be gone in a week. Same thing with Andujar in 2018. Yes. I, I was getting so frustrated when the Yes Network would always say, he didn't even start the season with the team. It's like, right. dude, he came week one. Right. He got called up week one. Right. Gio was on the team all season. On the team. Is on the team. Gio was on the team. Gio was on the team all season. Yeah. And he absolutely raked. Let's get the hitting out of the way. And I think where you and I are going to land is the hitting was incredible. We are going to be scared this year because, I mean, it, it's <laughs> – what there's no body of work you can go off of to believe in anything. Um, if he can somehow repeat this, he's you know a, a high quality top ten third baseman. Um, we have no idea if it's fool's gold or not. I mean, he, I, you know, I got nervous last year. It was the first time he dipped under a 300 batting average, and I was like, oh man, like if Geo has a bad month and a half to end the year, you know. He ends up hitting 281, and that just feels a lot different than hitting 300. Mm -hmm. He turned the switch back on. Yeah. He lands at 314. <laughs> Can I tell you something? It's ridiculous. Can I tell you something a little creepy? I like Gio Urshela. Okay. I think if I was a girl. It's Libras. I would have a crush on him. Yeah, 1011. He's cute. It's 1011. And his baseball picture is bullshit. His really? main Baseball picture. Baseball reference? Uh, I don't know what this one is. Yeah, that's, that's his... not the Gio Urshela that I ha have a crush yeah, on. Yeah, he looks a little froggy there. He looks he a little looks shook. A, he looks a little more Jake than Gio there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hands down. And uh, He's a live action guy. You got to see him moving. We we met him yeah. at CC's event. Yep. And I think I my opening question was like, how does it feel to be the best ever? Yeah. And he laughed and was like, what? Yeah. And I was like, you're having a good season. How's it feel? Blah, blah, yeah. blah. Anyway, his vibe that he was putting off yeah. ate it up. So that is blinding me by bias. Right. That I think he's going to be just – I think it's just going to continue, man. Yeah. And, I, at A, you should, we should all come in with tapered expectations. Um, I agree with that. If, if Gio Urshela hits 280 with 20 homers over a full season next year, like, that's good. Um, oh, yeah, he does not need to put up the same number. Look, look at this guy. I mean, come on. That's an easy guy He's to got root. a nice smile. That's the problem. He's not smiling in this Yeah, he's got an easy easy guy to root He's got for. a friendly smile. If I had a daughter 
He's got a kind I'd want smile. her to date Gio or show. Okay. If I had a daughter, also a good poem by Sarah Kay. It's called If I If I Have a right. Daughter. So just go listen to that. Sarah Kay, right. If I Should Have yeah. a Daughter. Okay. Scott Van Pelt, Kobe, all of it. Um, he's an October 11th guy, like yeah. myself, third baseman, cute, like you said. Cute, not hot. Cute, not hot. Yeah, yeah. That's, soccer, what me and, that's what me and Gio have going on. Soccer, no, 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 soccer goalie. Um, soccer goalie. Yeah. Again, parallel. I think you're never cute. You're sometimes hot. Ooh, that's interesting. I think, <laughs> I think I think I'm I think I'm I think I'm constantly cute. I'm occasionally sexy. I'm never hot. Okay, I'll give it to you. My sex. Well, I don't, I'm not giving you constantly. I'm roof. not giving you constantly cute. Uh, okay. Well, we just did. Um, let's do. Let's get mean. I don't want to. I know. I tried to trick you into that one. Uh, the defense. Yeah. If you're an analytics person. We're probably going to be mean to you in the next couple minutes. That's why I wanted to do a nice let's be mean. I'm not going to be mean. I just, if you think Gio's a bad third baseman or even an average third baseman, you're a fool. What the, what the, what the, it's not even analytics people because we like analytics. Love analytics. I think they're great for the game. Yep. And I, th- I advise. Get in analytics. I advise everyone to check them out and learn what they mean and, and do with them what you want to do. What I don't like... Carve out a little you time, light some candles, get into analytics, see dude, what you like. It's, it's more of the people that are anti, like 100% anti-analytics, and the people that are 100% for. Right. They're the same person. What's that saying about the horseshoe? The horseshoe? Effect. Yeah, the you horseshoe effect. The, the two ends of the horseshoe are closer than the people in the middle. Because here's my issue. You tell an analytics guy, like, Gio's good at third base, and they're like, actually, his numbers say he's not that good. And it's like, what do you mean? And they're like... Well, you guys think he's like top, top tier. No, I don't. No one's art. No one's saying he's top five Gold Glove third baseman. He no. is an above average. Right. He's the tier below those guys. Yes. I mean, a there's two. There's two crazy special guys in baseball right now: Arenado and Matt Chapman, who yeah. are on another level. Yeah. There's a tier below that that over a full season will be interesting to see if Gio can approach that. But yeah, he's he's clearly there. Top ten defensive third baseman. And and. Potentially top five. Dude, and defensive an, defensive analytics are so hard because it, it's like one bucket is can he make the special plays? Right. And like the top tier guys, Machado, Arenado, Chapman, Chapman, they can. Yes. Gio Urshela can. He can. He can make the special plays. Right. Then the, then then there's some people like Derek Jeter can make every ball that comes his way. Right. He will not botch. Right. A routine play, but can Derek make the special plays? No. In the early in his career, maybe range got limited. Range got limited because he's a six four shortstop. So that played for twenty years. So, but you can be like JJ Hardy. You can be a dude who makes every single routine play, right? But not the special plays and still be a good defensive uh, infielder, right? Geo can make the special plays, right? He doesn't make every single routine play. So right. for me, if he made every single routine play, I think he'd be on that level because he has the ability to make the insane plays. What I, he struggles with is consistency with the routine. Yeah, I I think it's still it, the best. Gio Urshela is still going to be below Arenado and Chapman. I oh, think those the, guys are gods. Yeah, they're 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 special in the realm of baseball history. Um, Gio Urshela, yes, if, and and that's where you know it. Gio Urshela played 132 games last year. In his career leading up to that, I think he played a hundred math pod, a hundred, a little over a full season, uh, over three years. So last year was his full season, getting it at the hot corner, and we saw there were some fundamental plays that I, I guess you could call them mental errors. I, I mean, they're not physical, but they were. And this feels lazy, but I think you and I agree that a lot of it was, you know, third inning. A 3-1 game, chopper to Geo, bobbles it, runner safe at first. Like, and and hey, again, this is where analytics people and us are going to get into a fight because, you know, you can't time an error. But when Geo needed to make a play, he made a play. And he also made the special ones too. So uh, I there's no reason you should believe he's an average third baseman. There's no reason you should even be close to worried about him at third base. It's just going to be, in, it's going to be interesting to see if he, A, just does what he did last year. That's who Gio is. He's going to make the special plays, and he's going to make a couple errors. Or the window is open for him 
the window is open for us if Matt Chapman got hurt for being like Gio Rochelle Gold Glove. It's a stacked, it's a stacked position, and especially in the AL. Chapman's really good, and that Bregman guy too. I mean, even Devers had a really good season last year. Yeah. That defensive for a fat guy, yeah. Not defensively. I I, was, I changed my mindset to like third all star third baseman. Third baseman, yeah. It's a really hard yeah. league. It's a good position. There's a lot of lot of good third basemen out there. I like that they're giving him. They're like, I mean, has Handor has only played a couple innings at third base, so like, and they said it's, it's Gio, Gio or they, Shilla's job, they, which like, is insane. They said it's Geo's to lose, or they said about Voit. Did they? Did they? Uh, they said that about Voit. I don't think they've said it. I think they just said Geo's the third baseman. They the specifically said that about Voit, but Geo. I don't think they've like said anything. But yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought they said that, but like the way they're acting, they're not even giving him competition to lose it. Like no. Herrera might be backing him up. The guy that order. would be his competition is playing left field and first base primarily. <laughs> yeah, in so. theory. Um, so yeah, Gio Urshela has won the job, and I think. I guess that is the low-key Yankee fear, if you will, um, is that say say the Gio Urshela season gets remembered as this crazy, um, God, you know, uh, outlier of a year. He was incredible. Um, right now, yeah, I mean, it would be switching back to Miguel Andujar if something happened, and I think... <laughs> you know, if we saw you and I saw the difference between Urshela and Anduhar and like laughed and we're like, damn. Um It's rude to Anduhar. It would like. almost <laughs> there almost be a poetic thing if Urshela played a little bit and then they put Anduhar at third and then everyone else was like, Oh, yeah, we can't do this. I mean, that happened last year when Andrew Hart um, came back, and then he like threw the double play into right field. So the as the, he does. the Boone quote uh, on Gio Urshela was February fourteenth. Um, the bathtub one? No, not the bathtub one. We'll get there. But he's a, well. I think in some degree we're always in competition. We feel like Gio has shown himself to be our third baseman, and and what he's <clears throat> and what he's able to do on both sides of the ball. He's also got to continue to go out there, earn those regular at bats, because we feel like obviously. We have a lot of capable people that when guys fall off a little bit, there's going to be a fight for playing time. So, Gio Rochelle is a starter. Here's some bullshit for you, though. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. true. And then he said he plays third base like slipping into a warm bathtub. Yeah, and then Yankees Twitter used it same day. That was some – Yankees Twitter has upped their game this year. They were good last year, too. But they've upped it. Like, they uh-huh. would they would have waited like a week and then been like – We know the guy who runs it now. Right. Good job, guy. Good job. I think he's a listener of the show. Yeah. They good all job. are, baby. Yeah, good call. Wow, always, always patting that back. Yeah, that was a team pat though. Oh yeah, but don't pat my back too hard. Don't like that. Yeah, bad time for your back. Yeah, sensitive back. Jake. Yes. How many different spots in the batting order did Geo appear last season? Five seconds on the clock. Five, six, four, three through nine. Is it five? He never batted ninth. Really. And he never batted first. Two through eight. Two through eight. Wow. Yeah. One, I was going to say I thought there was a two-hole Gio or Shella game, but my brain didn't want me to believe there it. There was one game where Gio was two-hole. <laughs> was it just once? Yeah, once. <laughs> Monday, uh, September. Oh. No, no, no. O- no, 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 no. August 12th. October. Oh, my God. <laughs> Gardner, Gio, Didi, Gary. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. A weird year. No LeMahieu. It's a weird year. Yeah. Valero. Oh, Jesus, dude. Yeah. Gardner or Shell or something? Yes, doubleheader. Good job. That was awesome by you. Because that, that lineup is fucking funky. Gardner. When you said Bravik, I, I had to pull the plug. Well, Bravik batted ninth, but he batted ninth both, both games <laughs> of the doubleheader. I think that was Brainless Bravik Day. Could have been. I think that was. Ford batted eighth. So, anyway, uh, he had nine games in the three-hole, nine in the four-hole, nine in the five-hole, 20 in the six, 33 in the seventh, 28 in the eighth. Now, if we're healthy, I love him in that seven-eighth. Can I say something kind of dumb? 
but I think people will like. I don't think you'll you can, even agree. Yeah, with. I don't think you can control that. I it's think you'll agree like, with. You know, yeah, it's kind of. That's kind of what, what this show is. Thank you. Thank you. Gio Urshela kind of works anywhere in this lineup because he gives you a different kind of at bat. Yeah. Um, you know, again, like even if he doesn't hit 314, which again, don't get your hopes up for that. Maybe he will, and that's awesome. But even a 280 Gio Urshela, you know, he he does a, he gives you some tough at bats. Like there is the power threat, yet at the same time, it it's just a different look. Like uh, a slider away is a tough pitch for everyone to hit, but we got into that Stanton Gary Judge area last year where it was just like, hey, if a pitcher makes those pitches every at bat, they're out because <laughs> they try to hit low and away pitches for home runs, and a good slider will get them out. Gio Urshela gives you a tough at bat. He was in the batting title race for a while, um, and his approach just looks solid that if you make a mistake, I mean, when he started hitting the home runs to deep left center and center field, it was like, who is this guy? So, yeah, I'm I'm almost fine with Gio anywhere in the lineup. Can I give you some of his splits? Yes. Because I think it speaks to what you're saying right yes. now. The type of hitter he is. Split me. Daddy. Versus right-handed, right-handed pitchers. Last season, 895 OPS. Yes. Left-handers, 876. Same shit, Split right? proof. Home and away, 873 at home. 902 OPS on the road. Sure. Okay. Even a little, or even a little deeper. We'll do uh, expected batting average. Yes. And I could do batting average. I can do whatever. But I'll, 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 I'll shout out the analytic people. We'll do expected batting average. Even if you want to do woba, fastballs. Expected batting average of 332. Breaking balls. 279. Less. Yeah. Decent gap, but 279 still pretty good. There first breaking balls. Off speed, 307. The dude, it didn't matter what was coming and who was throwing it. And, Jim, I've got one more for you. Yeah. Two strikes. Wasn't he the best two-strike hitter, like, to ever play baseball last year? I, I, that was early on. Let me see. I believe it continued. Okay. Uh, okay, with two strikes, he had a 272 batting average. And I think that's, like, one of the highest in baseball because with two strikes, you're supposed to get out a lot. A 753. OPS. Who's a random Yankee that you want me to compare it to? I guess LeMahieu's the ultimate test. And I think he's, I mean, he's good. Right. Um, I'll, I'll do, do, do DJ and Glaber. I'll okay. do Glaber, you do DJ. And I'll we'll, do, we'll I'll do Glaber, you do DJ. Nope, no, 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 no. I'm doing DJ, you're doing Glaber. Yes, yes, yes. And we're yes. doing splits with two strikes? Yep. In last season. With two strikes, DJ LeMahieu had a 255 batting average. And what was Geo? 270? Yes. With two strikes, Labor Torres had a 203 batting average. Gio was the best ever with two strikes last year. 272. That's yeah. a good batting average. Normally. Normal. With two strikes, that's it's it's unheard of. Almost like give him to me. So again, in at the same time, I do get a little scared there because it felt like it was part of Geo Magic last year, which this year we're going to find out was it Geo Magic? Is Geo Magic a thing, or is Geo just really good? Don't expect him to repeat. I think we kind of lean Geo Magic. He's got a little. I think he's, he's got good. a little October. I thing going. might be because I goalkeeper. Uh, I'm I, cute. I, I I'm not worried. Sexy. I think there's a lot of people that are worried. Okay, interesting. I but I but I'm also don't have the expectations. Like I don't think it's possible he does better than last year. I'm throwing that out of like if he does better than last year. Right. That's. I mean, now we're past magic and into like a whole like right. universe, a parallel universe. I don't like. Like I'm almost spooked. I don't enjoy that. Yeah, but even if he does like a tiny bit less or a good chunk less, still can be very, very good for this. And team I think as a seven eight hole hitter. And I think that's that is what what gets funky because a two fifty Gio Urshela who plays his defense at third base is still a quality three-war baseball player, some-ish like that. Yeah, um, his defense and, will help. And right now the analytics um, crew might get mad at that. It's just defense, it's a zero war last year. Um, Do you see his projections, his baseball reference projections? I have not, Jim. All right, this would be the last thing. Last good, thing. good test. Good test. Baseball reference with 72% reliability oh my God. is projecting Geo to have 407 at-bats, 
283 batting average, 331 on base percentage, 808 OPS. We sign up for that tomorrow, right? I mean, that's less than last year, but still very good. And you add the defense. I mean, if that is... If Gio Urshela is an 800-plus OPS player, there's no questions asked. He's the everyday third baseman. I mean, yeah. Yes, easily. What's 443 divided by four? So they have him playing 110 games. Right. And again, I mean, the projections, they're going off some weird stuff with Gio, but... um, no, if he's if he's an 800 plus OPS co- player, there's no question marks at all. No, it's uh, fantastic. Yeah, to have him as a. St- um, when I was tr- I was trying to click the back button to get yeah. to Geo's Baseball Reference, yeah. and I thought I got back there because it was a main page, but it was DJ Lemayhew's, and it actually has him and DJ having <laughs> similar years. It has DJ Lemayhew having an 809 OPS <laughs> and hitting two, uh, 350 on base, 297. Yeah, it's just a smidge better. Kind of funny. Sports. Sports are weird. Baseball! All right. That ends this show. Giovanni Urshela. Don't expect last year, but I think don't worry. That's my message. That's at least what I'm doing. You can do whatever you want. See you tomorrow. Only a couple more left.